I'm a sculptor and I'm based here in London. I'm Alex Glass. People teach themselves painting, but with sculpture, I feel like you have to learn a lot of different skills very quickly to uh, work in a sculpture studio. For me, when I look at art, concept is probably secondary to um, the way something is made. The art I like best, there's something really beautiful about the way it's made, something really clever or inventive, or something just bold. I am testing a, a shelf for a drawing I made. My sketchbook is full of things that I really want to make and haven't yet had the time. I figure out what I need and spend a lot of time thinking about it. Maybe make it quickly, maybe make it really slowly, but may usually make too many things at once. That is my probably quite ridiculous process. But um, so there's plenty of things in my studio that need a bit of polishing, a bit of work, a little grinding of metal. I like the relationship between there being masculine elements to my work while being softened through these sort of very seductive materials and surfaces. But the problem that I think I see with it is that the focus of my work has always been on the aspect of my sexuality and masculinity in my work, rather than the form of it or the materials I use and what they say. I was in an ID article a few years ago, five top queer artists that you need to know. And I've been found via that article by a lot of people. And it's good, but as a result of it, I always find that people have Googled that and then found me. If there are queer art shows, that is great. Queer artists should definitely be represented. But if the only time they're represented is when there are there's a, a burst of queer art shows, then that's not workable. When I talk about the focus being shifted on my sexuality and my representations of masculinity in my work. I think it can be problematic when that's the only time that my work can be um, represented in a show. There's more that I offer than um, my sexuality. What I sort of think about quite a lot is sort of um, almost teenage angst experience. And that's a, a lot of where my work comes from like locker rooms and swimming pools, that's a sort of formative stage for almost universally for people within like Western culture, I guess. That's what I mean when I say, I think it does more than define the specific interest of a group of people. Hopefully everyone can relate to the awkwardness and the embarrassment of those spaces. When I'm thinking about making my work, one of the elements that I try and incorporate into it is always a sort of seductivity and a sort of like a deliciousness of the surfaces. But also within that um, uncanniness of the materials, that there's something sort of almost too perfect about them, something creepy, that often there'll be something seeping through, a crack maybe, to make it, to spoil that image of uh, perfection. For me, making art has always been like a case of momentum and it hasn't stopped. 